What's up? Saturday, how's it going? Today we are experiencing a couple things. We have rain going down. That's cool. And we're also working on cleaning the house. And so, um, reorganizing my daughter's rooms. Spot so that we can keep things clean. And I learned some pretty cool things. Well, I've thought about some pretty cool things and I think it's going to help me be more productive in general. I'll tell you what that is here. Just so the number one thing that I discovered or thought of, I've been super grumpy this week and uh, I think it's because I wasn't sleeping enough. So number one thing is I have to absolutely be sleeping more. Okay, that's number one. <laughs> Okay, now I'm in my wife's van and we are going to Target to go pick up uh, some furniture. <clears throat> Anyways, so sleep is incredibly important and I frequently am lack lacking on sleep as much as I should. And I always just think of like, well, I need to get stuff done right now. So I'm just going to, you know, put it off work, waking up and working out or like things in general. So... It's always like, I'll just work on stuff tonight, and then tomorrow I'll have, I'll catch up, and then I'll, once I'm caught up, I can get to, to bed earlier, or whatever. And that sounds good in theory, but then I end up having the next day being probably less productive because I'm tired. I'm less creative because I'm tired, and I'm stressed out. And when I get stressed out, then I become grumpy in general. That's not cool, and so my family has to deal with the grumpy me, so... Like, I think that I'm just going to start going to bed at the same time every single day. And so that's been, I don't know, I think that'll be helpful for being more productive because I'm rested, more creative, and I'll do better work during the day. So that's number one. And I'm going to add working out, too. I need to absolutely start that. Um, working out is something that I would love to start doing. I used to be super fit when I was younger. I used to have triathlons and all kinds of things now I don't do that so it's important that I prioritize that I'm prioritizing other stuff I can do it and I know I can't I just have to make it a priority otherwise it's just an excuse type of a thing I'm just making excuses so that's not cool so I need to specifically wake up at the same time every day go to bed at the same time every day and get on a schedule so that I'm more productive and have everything going especially with my daily content creation um it's important that everything is scheduled out and gets done according to plan. The other day I had just um, made a mistake in, in rendering one of the videos that I was making. And so it ended up being like a, it was almost, it didn't, almost didn't get a video out. So today I might not get a marketing video out. So I might just do a live stream instead. And I think that's going to work better. Um, just because I'm working on the daughter's rooms. I haven't batched out my work. Um, Unfortunately, last last videos that I batched were all three in a row for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I need to make in my schedule a Friday production. I know it's not super exciting or anything, but anyways. Okay, I'm going to go pick this up. So, I didn't mention the second thing that I learned yet, and so here's what that is. So, in general, one second, I'm going to go inside, it's raining. Actually, I'm going to move my car. But in general, um, something that has kind of served me well, but is not serving me so well anymore, is that I've always been mostly a generalist, where I'm like specifically doing all kinds of things and um, not necessarily, you know, I've always been jack of all trades. So, you know, with every single business that I've been in, every single business that I've done and been a part of, it's always been like, I do everything to try and get just bootstrap stuff. And that's been helpful. It's given me all kinds of experience and all kinds of skills. I think that that's great. But as a result, 
a lot of the stuff that I do just gets done to the level of good enough. And I think that um, the, the next level of mastery that I need to do in all of the work that I do, it has to be not just good enough, but it has to be like amazing, highest level that I can. And so getting it up to like the 80 or 90% way done, just in everything is not good enough. I need to get it all to 100%. And so doing things so that it's 100%, um, like what I need to do with that is like everything, I have to start developing that habit. And I've been starting to do that in everything from um, like if I wash, if I wash the dishes and clean up downstairs, like it's not done until it's all the way done. So I have to also sweep the floors, like rinse and or well, wipe wipe down everything, get it all the way finished, not just most of the way, most of the way finished. So like this kind of mentality has to be the way that I do everything now. So don't do something 80% anymore. And I've been working on this, but I just kind of thought about it specifically for building out just every aspect of my life. Don't have stuff that's just kind of hanging mostly done. Finish something, finish it all the way and make sure it's working like perfect. I gotta develop that level of mastery in everything from folding towels to folding socks, to putting it away. If you fold it, you put it away. If you clean it, it gets done all the way, not just most of the way. So that was something that I thought to. There you go. Oh. Hey there. <laughs> Where did you go? Where did you go? There you are. Where are you been at? Where are you? Peek you! <laughs>